protecting your family this morning. We've seen kids, even toddlers, swiping through smartphones and using those smart toys with ease. They know how they work, yeah. right? But when is it time to unplug? And how do you know when information from that device could be leaving your house? A 7 Eyewitness News reporter Liz Lewin looking at how one family handles the risks and what a security expert had to say. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight games, one tablet. And then there's her kids fire by Amazon, mom's old iPad, and old iPhone. That makes a total of four smart devices for four-year-old Ellie Ole. This kindergartner knows more about technology than most adults. But make no mistake, the dangers of these smart toys are nothing to ignore. If you're okay with the toy recording information and sending it back to their servers, be wary of that because it's going outside your house and you have no control over it. With raising her, I feel like I have the upper hand because I already know how to work and use everything she's looking at, um, and it's not something so new. So I know the precautions to take. Especially when it comes to toys with some of these features. Elements like speakers, microphones, cameras, wireless access, and the ability to save information. In today's world, experts say it's a lot smarter to err on the side of caution. If you presume the worst case scenario, you're a lot more careful. And I think that's, that's the reality of the internet today. Dangers like identity theft or a stranger's ability to snag your kid's photo, name, and address all while they're just playing an innocent game. Ol uses her own phone as a creative approach to limiting Ellie's screen time called fairy time. You set the time on your phone and when the time is up, the fairies sing and that's the time I turn off my iPad then we go to bed. So make sure that you understand what you're buying and do the security settings on them, the privacy settings. Make sure you read that. And if you're not comfortable with it, switch those off when you're not using them. Liz Lewin, 7 Eyewitness News. Love fairy time. You know, that's really smart. When the fairies start to sing, you know it's time to turn off and disconnect. That's number one. Number two, some really good advice about keeping your kids safe, making mm -hmm. sure that their information isn't exposed to someone who shouldn't have it. Yeah, something just so many parents want to know about. So we're going to put more on Liz's story right now on WKBW.com.